Chiefs said no thank you and uh, will rely on Mahomes and an uh, assortment of receivers uh, to sort of springboard the uh, the Chiefs and make sure they score plenty of points. They still have Kelsey sitting there. Uh, they have draft picks now they can work with, including now Miami's, as the Dolphins today in their desperate search to make life easy for Tua brings Tariq Hill in and give him $72 million guaranteed and give up five draft picks, five, count them, including number one and twos and fours and all that. And a future pick uh, to uh, the Chiefs in a trade. They beat out the Jets to get him. And Hill here now will play his football. No state income taxes. I'm sure that I'll lose something to do with it. He'll play his football in Miami. Uh, two things, two themes on this uh, before we uh, move along. Uh, if you're a receiver, I don't know why you'd ever leave Mahomes. I mean, I, I just don't know why. Same thing with Devontae Adams last week leaving Aaron Rodgers. When you have a quarterback who is that good, I don't quite understand understand the thought process of leaving that quarterback to go play for another team whose quarterback is basically, you know, back of the pack as far as ability is concerned. Tua stinks, all right? I mean, I you know, listen, uh, I, he doesn't have the great arm strength. He doesn't run well. Uh, you know, again, I know he runs a lot of those crossing routes and there's short passes and you throw one of them to him. He catches it and he explodes for 80 yards. This is Hill now. But still, you need a quarterback out there who's better than Tua to capitalize on the greatness of Hill. And I don't think he's the answer. So to me, if you're Tariq kill now listen, they gave him $72 million guaranteed. I do not know what the Chiefs were willing to pay to give him. And he's excited now because he tops Devontae Adams making $28.5 million. And And listen, who am I to sit there and talk about, uh, you know, money, that level of money, especially in the NFL when most contracts are not guaranteed after a certain period of time, and he's guaranteed, you know, $72 million out of the $130 million deal that he signed. So he got $72 million. But, I mean, I just, I mean, the idea is to go out there and win championships. That's the idea. The idea is to play in a big game if you're an athlete. That's the idea. And he is not going to play in a big game for Miami. They're not that good. All right, I'm sorry. I mean, Miami does not have, listen, they got plenty of weapons. Waddle's a good receiver. They got a good tight end. They brought in some running backs. They brought in the tackle from the Saints. Uh, You know, so we all know that Miami has done everything they can to surround Tua with the weaponry that he needs to be a better than average quarterback, which is all he has been so far in his career. And, you know, they're winning their seven or eight games every year. They play pretty good defense. You know, uh, and he's not terrible, but I, I just don't know. Are they better than the Chiefs? Are they better than Cincinnati? Uh, are they better than Buffalo? No, they're not. I mean, they're not. They're not better than Denver, for crying out loud. So, to me, giving him all that money guaranteed if you're Miami, uh, when your quarterback stinks, I, I, I know what the idea is. It's almost like you can't go out there and get starting pitching because they're not going to come to you. So, what you do is you go out there and get as many relief pitchers as you possibly can and try to handle the game from the back end. It's almost like they're doing the same thing. We know we can't do anything at the quarterback spot, so let's get so many receivers and weapons that we make his job so easy that he can throw three-yard pass patterns. I mean, that's essentially what they're telling you. But if you're a receiver of that ilk, I still think you got to play with the great quarterback. I, I And I think Adams made a mistake going to uh, Derek Carr, and Carr is a lot better than Tua. And I, and I think he made a mistake going with Carr. How you leave Aaron Rodgers to go play for Vegas, I, I have no idea. Did, did, did Rodgers not see the Cincinnati game when Carr, you know, two drives against a so-so defense at best? Did he see the two drives, uh, Adams? Was he watching it? Uh, no, listen, that was and the Packers were off that week. Was he sitting around Lambeau watching the way the Raiders could not put the ball in the end zone on two drives in the fourth quarter at Paul Brown Stadium? And uh, Derek Carr was spiking the ball, losing it down with 28 seconds to go. And then on fourth down, throwing pass plays that don't even go into the end zone? Was he, did he, did he, does he remember that? So, you know, Carr is the fourth best quarterback in his division right now. And that's where he went to go play with. I know he got $28 million a year. So and I'm not sure what Green Bay was willing to pay, and I feel the same way about the Chiefs. I don't know what, the, uh, what their limit was of what they were willing to pay Hill. But to me, if I'm a player of that ilk, now listen, money talks, I understand that. Everybody runs for the money, I get that too. It's all about the money, I understand. Drew Rosenhaus, all excited now, he can have a nice dinner tonight at Joe Stone Grabs. I get that. But the issue to me is you want to be able to play in big games the second half of the year. And I think he'll just lessen that opportunity and lessen that chance by going running to Miami and leaving the Chiefs. That's my take.